Hello. Niao. Hi, Piero. Happy New Year. Thank you. Sixty-three percent of the CEOs really think that AI will have a much larger impact than the、uh, the internet. But specifically, which sectors, which individuals will be the main beneficiaries of AI deployment in the next three to five years? In practice, today, when people say AI, they really mean deep learning. I have seen the internet revolution.、Uh, I was、uh, working on the internet. In 1983, almost 40 years ago, when it was not even called the internet yet, in fact, it took maybe 10 years to understand that the internet was useful for searching, for social media, and so on. My hope is that、uh, we will understand the power of AI in creating large-scale collaboration, which is something that today very few people focus on. Uh, we call it peace technology. I wrote a book about it. That's a field that has great potential for ordinary people, but it's just beginning. In the very short term, next year and so on. Well, obviously, medical applications. That's where deep learning is already is already feasible and useful. In your opinion, how do we maximize the value, the social value, business value of AI for people?、Uh, the, the first thing we can do, of course, is to provide.、Uh, Uh, only rich people can afford, and so the medical field、uh, is an example.、Um, this has been a, a, a long-standing dream、uh, of artificial intelligence to make sure that everybody can have access to the best doctor. Overall,、um, what topics or what ideas do you resonate the most with Huawei Deputy Chairman Ken Hu in this Davos panel? I think so. The, the, the one thing I liked about.、Uh, The speech at,、uh, at Davos was that、uh, your executive didn't talk about AI as as a superior form of intelligence. You know,、uh, the name artificial intelligence, unfortunately,、uh, is misleading.、Uh, we should call it something else.、Uh, it's just a technology.、Uh, it's a powerful technology. It also has limitations, and they can help.、Uh, And, and so that that's important for people to understand. I'm afraid that the term artificial intelligence is creating fears. They don't have reason to exist.、Uh, we should fear all technology is powerful, and all technology can use the in in a, in a improper, sometimes evil manners.、Um, this is a general、uh, issue. Now, the the big concern about ethics. Uh, is, is of course、uh, that's another thing I appreciated、uh, in that talk、uh, that they mentioned ethics.、Uh, of course, there are ethical issues, like with every technology, and、uh, the biggest problem with ethics today is that、uh, it starts at the beginning.、Uh, some people design AI systems, some people build them,、uh, but what about、uh, ordinary people, sociologists, psychologists? Environmental scientists. I can go on. What about all the other stakeholders in society? And that's again where I think it's important to create large-scale collaborations,、uh, which I think are very possible, very feasible. And we're just being lazy. You know,、um, the world has not really、uh, moved as fast as the technology, and we're just beginning to do that. But、um, yeah, that、uh, we have to do it, and we have to involve as many people as possible. So、uh, during the pandemic, we really see the great potential about what technology can do. So moving forward, what are the top three problems you think AI can really help alleviating?、Uh, if I have to pick three sectors, I would pick、uh, hospital robotics. There was already a big field of application before COVID, by the way.、Um, uh, second, I would pick uh, uh, intelligent sensors. Uh, intelligent.、Uh, let me use the word wearables. Intelligent wearables, which also have very obvious、uh, medical applications, and then、uh, brain-computer interfaces, which are just beginning, but they are also a fascinating new field.